took, I don't know what the carbon footprint is of me and my band, but I think it's crushing cities. Well, the way we did that, man. the way they booked it, not my choice, but... And um, we got down, right on the edge of Chile, and it's a beautiful sunny day, and the promoter is a huge Blaze Bailey fan. He has put on this event, he's called it Blaze Fest. Oh man, so proud. Big indoor festival, huge high stage that they built for me, massive lighting rig, state of the art PA, and we're 10 meters from the beach. It's incredible, they treat us like kings, Huge sign-in in the daytime and all the best local bands supporting us. We go on stage and five songs in, fans I can see are running away. <laughs> and I'm thinking, normally they throw things at me when they get fed up. What's going on? And then the lights go out. And all the electrics off, promoters at the side of the stage. Blaze, we have to leave the building, it's an earthquake. I'm like, what? And, and so we go to move off. I can hear behind me, boom, boom, kaka, boom, boom. But me, the machine, does not stop for the earthquake. You don't stop this man that easy. So... And then here's the really spooky thing about that situation, apart from being potentially pant filling, that everybody's mess, everybody on the phone, no matter what network, where you were from, all had the same message in Spanish and English. It came, tsunami warning, get to higher ground. We're 10 meters from the beach. <laughs> oh, what? Anyway, they got us to higher ground. About four hours later, they sound the all clear. We come back down. Bits of the building are in the street. And, and they're packing down the PA and all of this. And a couple of fans are there. When you finish the gig, Blaze, I'm not this year. <laughs> and a promoter, Omar, his name is lovely, lovely bloke. I think he has devoted or made his family become devoted to... Blaze Bailey. And he said, will you write a song about this? I thought, yeah, I've written songs about gigs before. And then you've got Saxon have done things about gigs. And the very famous one by Deep Purple as well. And I'm struggling. We're writing and I've promised that I'll write this song about Kakimbo and the earthquake. And I'm saying, Chris, I've got nothing. All I've got is, I was in an earthquake. Right. No, like I said, it's a bit similar to something else, you know. And I said, uh, I said, man, it, a month, it, it was a crazy time. How many flights did we do on that tour? It was 18 flights. Six gold trees 